won't stop. Keep it going. I'm a concept of greatness, a concept of common concentration and constant communication. Contemplating, avoiding the confrontation. Their methods of operation slide slick. They lie quick. Rah. Moving the low like a side shift. Rah. Robbing the rib like a sidekick. Rah. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to give you guys a pretty easy and basic tutorial coming from the fact that I have to use my laptop for this, and I currently do not have my desktop, if you guys are up on my channel, uh, my desktop got fried, and I just overused it and stuff, and I think I burnt all my components out, so I'm pretty much saving up for my new desktop while Christmas comes around, and then a little New Year's after that, so I'll probably have my computer probably by the end of the month or so, so uh, basically, we're just doing little basic tutorials on this, I'll be using my brother's computer whenever I can to make tutorials and stuff, and that's about it so uh, let's get right into it so what today's tutorial is going to be recording your screen with OBS rather than Camtasia and you guys are going to be just a, a pretty much an overall OBS speed art and tutorial recording tutorial thing so uh, I'm recording my screen right now with Camtasia so uh, it, it definitely you're gonna have some things to mess around with I'm using OBS just to show you guys the tutorial but Camtasia is what I use uh, normally, but I'm starting to transfer over to OBS just because it's a better software and it's a lot easier to use, and I'll explain why. So uh, it go in the description right now and download OBS. It's called Open Broadcast Software, and basically what this actually is, it's renowned to be a uh, streaming software, and we actually found take little tips and tricks and stuff to record only your screen, and you can pretty much just uh, make your own tutorials and speed arts with this. So it's actually really easy to do, and I'm in love with this. So uh, basically when you download it, you guys are going to come to this screen, you're going to have no idea what to do. I deleted all my scenes, and this is what you do. You right click right here on your scenes and go to add scene. And you just label this, let's just say uh, speed art slash tutorial. Hit enter. And then right here in your sources, just click right click and add, and go to your monitor capture. And this is where you can choose your monitors. I'm just going to label this desktop. Hit enter. And this is where you can choose your monitors. Obviously, I'm only using laptops, so I have one. And you guys can pretty much label everything like uh, your gamma, your subregion, color key, etc. And I'm just going to hit OK. And there's going to be a little error. It's like arrow is enabled, which I don't know what that is, quite frankly. So, well, that's not it. You guys can also add stuff. There's also an image adding section. So, let's just say you have an overlay. If you right click add input image, label this like overlay. Hit enter and then you can browse and I'll just open up my overlay really quick to show you guys that it actually works. Now if you guys want a tutorial on streaming, let me know because it's a totally different setup. And then you edit and you guys obviously can't see anything on the screen, you're not going crazy. What you want to do is click preview stream and then it's going to pop up and then to edit where your overlay is, just hit edit scene and these black boxes are going to come around and just click it and just drag it smaller and just kind of center it again and then you can hit control C which I believe centers it and then you guys can just raise it up a little bit and that should be it so uh, obviously it's just getting like triple like duplicated and everything it's gonna duplicate it by a max because you're recording the same screen so I'm just gonna stop the preview there so uh, right there you guys could be done but you guys aren't because I'm not gonna show you guys how to just leave yourself like that so uh, what you want to go right here is go to settings and then you guys can go to your general, you don't really need to worry about that. Your encoding, um, it's pretty much the same. Don't really mess with encoding too much unless you're going to be streaming. Uh, as, as I said before, if you guys want a tutorial on streaming, let me know on that. So uh, right here is where to go. You want to go to broadcast settings. And you guys can either put live stream or file output only. I'm going to leave it on live stream and then you don't really need to mess with any of these. So um, right here is where we want to mess with stuff. The file path is your output. And what you want to do is go on browse and then just go on your desktop and make a new folder and just label it, let's just say videos, open it up and save. Oh, I should save there. And then do the same thing for your buffer, uh your buffer file. And uh mine's the dot V or dot I can't read that, I don't have my glasses, F L V. And I don't know why it's like that. I believe it's something to do with my computer, but I'm not too sure. It should say .mp4 or something. But um, after you're done with that, you guys can go into your videos. Just make sure you hit apply afterwards. And this is a big thing. So uh, what a video adapter is, is pretty much your graphics card. And obviously, your HD graphics family is probably the worst one that Intel probably makes. So definitely click on the most important one and then you can just click on your monitor size or custom. I'm going to leave it on monitor and just leave it 1600 by 900 or actually just put it to 1280 by 720, excuse me. 
and uh, that's just to uh, pretty much bring it down. You guys can change your FPS to 60 to 30. If you guys are recording speed arts and stuff, then I don't think that really matters necessarily, because I usually just render 30 frames per second anyway. It's a lot faster. And then once you're done with that, is click apply. And then when you go to audio, you guys have to choose your default audio device and then your uh, microphone and auxiliary audio device. This is when you want to move it and put it to your external mic, which pretty much is my blue snowball mic. If you have a Yeti, it pops up Yeti. If you guys have a Logitech, it'll pop up Logitech. Also pop up external mic and then a bunch of names after that you have. Just click on that, hit reinitialize, hit apply, and then hit OK. And then go. To, you can go down and go to your hotkeys. This is pretty much hotkeys as you guys can set uh, certain commands to do certain things. There's also advanced stuff that I don't really mess with yet. And then there's just more stuff that doesn't really matter. You guys can mess with your microphone noise gate and your scene switcher, etc. Hit OK when you're done. And you're almost set. So this is when you want to mess with how loud your audio is versus your mic quality. So uh, if you guys have a nice mic, just leave this all the way up. Audio, if you guys are going to be playing a lot of background music, just put it down to about 50 or so. Um, don't really blast it because you guys want to be able to talk over it. And that's pretty much it. To get this going, what you want to do is just click start recording. And you're pretty much set. Go on with your tutorial. So uh, after that, if you hit stop recording, this file should pop up in your videos. Obviously, my computer doesn't listen to me. And it'll pop up as one of these. As I said before, my computer is really old, so it's not going to save as an MP4 as it should. But uh, most computers will open it and be fine. If something does happen and you guys cannot play it, you guys download this called iYSoft Free Video Converter. It's really easy to use, and it's definitely worth a check. So uh, six minutes in, and we pretty much just got a nice basic tutorial in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry that it's not really the ideal thing that you guys would want to come out yet. Um, If you guys are subscribe to tutorial hub this keeps popping up for some reason if you guys are subscribed to tutorial hub definitely check them out on um, mondays and fridays because that's when i upload on them and that's pretty much the uh the tutorial based stuff that we're going to be uploading until i can get my new computer so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you guys have any video ideas for me to do while my computer is broken let me know in the comments below and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video whenever that is peace out